Okay, so let's back up and start at where our last update ended. And that was in Hampton, Virginia. After we just come up for a, a Wilmington. Yes, after you came from the Bahamas, after you came yeah. from St. Martin. So. so. Let me quickly rewind. If you haven't been following us for a while or have dipped in and out of our videos for the past nine years and don't know the latest, let me quickly catch you up. Our daughter Sienna expressed an interest to move to land. She was tired of friends always coming and going and being on the move quite a bit of the time. Not knowing what it was like to live in a house, have the same friends, and spend all day in school, she wanted to experience it. Around the time of expressing her interest, my stepfather passed away. My mother wasn't able to keep up her house by herself, so an idea was hatched that me and Sienna would move in with mom so she could stay in her home and Sienna could realize her dream of becoming a landy. Simon would keep Britican and our Britican experiences going and fly home every other month to be together. For the summers, we'll hopefully all enjoy Britican again. So what happened there? Well, we started doing a bit of land life really, didn't we? I enjoyed it for a little while. It was a nice break for for us, but for me, as, me especially, and, and, and you, and then we got Sienna into school. We were gonna do a bit of sailing, but we decided not to, so we in July, we brought the boat to here. Yeah, Cape Charles. Cape Charles, which is beautiful. Yeah, actually, you actually pulled up the boat to right, right here. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And we had, I had help from Kyle, who was our actually first Britain experience ever. Yeah, in 2015. 15. So yeah, thanks, Kyle. And we are in Hampton in Virginia, which has been fantastic. We've been here two months. Well, the boat's been here two months, and then we're now leaving to go and put it on the hard. Here we are, we're out in the bottom of the Chesapeake. It's so warm out here. But we've got 15 miles to go to Cape Charles and then uh, we're gonna get hauled out hopefully tomorrow or Friday. There's Kyle there, we just had some lunch. There is 16 ships out there, all at anchor waiting to go in. Wow, I've never seen so many. And we are 40 minutes away from the entrance. Hey. It's quite interesting because there's a great big barge coming out. I mean, he's really wide, but luckily there's a, it's a bit wider at this point and I can go far out. So I've turned quite hard to starboard to inform him that we're going to go port to port, which is what we should do anyway. But he's uh, quite big and wide. Here we are coming in. Uh, that looks like a cement distribution place. So we're just coming in. It looks really quite cute on this side. It's nice. So here we are in uh, Cape Charles, it's lovely, breeze is really nice which is going to make it interesting for when we go into the uh, dock where we're going to get picked up in. Just sorting everything out, getting stuff off the boat and uh, getting ready to uh, haul out. So uh, looking forward to getting a hauled out and have a look see what the copper coat's like on the boat. Um, then we uh, got the boat taken out of the water and she's just over there on the hard. And we've just come back. It's now mid-October mid and we got on the boat yesterday and she was really clean, wasn't she? Yep, yeah, yeah Which she's was, doing good. She was doing really good. No, she doesn't look dirty. Let's see. I think that one of the things you're worried about when you come onto your boat is uh, oh, mold. I think you're just worried that you're going to come and there's going to be an infestation of bugs and or everything's going to be moldy. But so far, so good. Yeah, batteries are good. That's that's what Simon looks at, oh. batteries. <laughs> yeah, they're a lot of money. <laughs> so batteries are good. How does she smell? She smells like a boat. I don't smell any mold. Everything looks okay. I don't see anything wet. I've left, um, this is, this here is all the blue tape is, uh, like bug, bug poison, just in case bugs got on. But everything is looking good. Fridge okay? Yeah, just dirty, needs a good clean. Your coffee cup. Check maybe yeah. the covers. I don't. I didn't leave much food, but I think we've got like some canned goods and stuff. Let me just check. We got 
but this person yeah i'm not seeing like any anything that's scaring me or alarming me which is good yeah and we put everything up so it could breeze yeah it's looking good we got hold out in middle of july so we time like that put the boat here and since then, this place has been taken over. The marina has now become part of the town, owns the marina part, and this bit... The boatyard. The boatyard now is owned by another company. People that used to own this place took all the records. <laughs> so the list of jobs that I had to do, which was very small, has not been done. But uh, I'm, I'm talking to the guys here and uh, it's all going to get done next week. So it looks like I'll be driving back again next week. Simon's below the boat cleaning, um, sounds like cleaning barnacles or something out of the through hall, the through, through hall fittings. And I'm just laying in my bed and uh, it's kind of cold, but not, not too cold. And I'm just kind of reminiscing. I'm just like, I close my eyes and I have all these really good memories and it's kind of funny because as we've been living on the boat for nine years I never had time to really reminisce because our lives were so busy and new things kept happening but now that I've been off the boat for you know five six months I'm just sitting here <laughs> I'm just sitting here and, and I remember you know just like a party we had and when somebody ran into a door and, you know, I just look at the kitchen and I think of all the laughter we had and all the meals that we made and all the parties we had and the kids coming over and, you know, doing arts and crafts and just making food and enjoying each other. And um, you can hear Simon. <laughs> there's nothing really to do. So <laughs> we're at a boatyard and there's no tools and there's nothing here so he's just cleaning the through halls through through halls the the holes in the hall <laughs> yeah it's it's good you know it's good to be able to reminisce and think about all the great times we had on here i i really didn't do it before because the times just carried on you know and taking a break and coming back has just made me appreciate it even more and uh I really look forward to the day when I get back on here because I, I absolutely love this boat. I, I love the lifestyle and I love, I just love everything about it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, I feel like I'm home, you know, I feel like I'm home. Okay, so we've uh, finished up on the boat doing a few odd jobs and stuff. Not much we can really do. Um, so now we're gonna drive down uh, Cape Charles. It's this really cute, let me switch this actually. So uh, this is Cape Charles and this is where the boat is. It's in Virginia and it's on this kind of, it's on the outer bank of like Virginia. And uh, it's such a cute little town. I mean, it's got little ice cream places and boutiques and little bars and cafes. And you know, a lot of people drive around in the golf carts. It's a really, really cute place. If you're ever in the area, I definitely would suggest stopping by. So it's on the eastern shore of the Chesapeake Bay. Yes. So straight ahead is the Chesapeake. Yeah. And behind us is the Atlantic. Yeah. Um, but this is on the water of the Chesapeake, not the Atlantic. And um, the only thing is, like, it looks really, really cool. And then you look over there and there's like a cement factory. <laughs> so it's kind so just of... don't look over that yeah. way, just look that way. Yeah. If we look this way, everything looks quite nice. <laughs> So that's a Kelly's, it's a, a, a bar. So we're gonna go get a, bar, a drink there. So we're, we're, we're on our way back now to our uh, lovely two-star hotel. We wanted to stay in some Airbnb in the local town. It was so expensive. It, it, it was like $600. Like $600 for two nights. Yeah. And that was the cheapest. In a KOA? <laughs> we're in a KOA camp, which is Camp of America. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we've had a one cocktail and we're on our way back now. So. so day two. Yeah, going back to about, well, we're going to go get some coffee first. Yeah. Because the coffee in the, in the, in the hotel is. So. Yeah, that is pretty gross. Yeah. I got a list of all the things I'm going to do. Mainly stuff to pull off and clean a little bit and nothing major. I mean, there's really not much we can do. So. It's pretty clean. 
that she yeah like. yeah she looks she looks really beautiful she looks like she's ready to go back in the water now <laughs> yeah she is i know i am <laughs> yeah. wow. time to harvest the cotton and that's what cotton looks like it's beautiful we just finished breakfast and i started crying so uh Simon's in the bathroom now. I think um, I told him that we're we're discussing what day to put the boat in the water, and then he's gonna go um, around the fourteenth of November. And I I said instead of me dropping you off, why don't you get a rental car and come up here? Because I don't think I can bear to see him leave. I'll probably drive. No, probably just cry some more. I'm such a cry baby. Our plan is now that uh, we're gonna just t take a l last little bits off the boat, and uh, we're then gonna drive back to North Carolina, and then we're coming back on the first of November, and we're gonna splash, splash here, check everything out, run the engines, run the generator, check all the systems. Everything seems to be working so far that we can test. Yeah. So uh, just checking the uh, the head. And it's uh, what we did was we flushed it through with fresh water and put vinegar in it, and uh, it's quite dirty. <laughs> so, just gonna clean that up now. Right, so I'm just testing the last pump. Okay, so the boat's been on the hard for three months. Uh, the last time we left it for three months, I had to change three pumps, and so far they're all working. So, let's fingers crossed they keep going. Everything, I'm just testing the davits, they work great. Uh, I'm just going to test the furler, a uh, windless uh, witches. Yep. Just going to do the windless. Yeah, great. Everything's working. Woohoo! So, what I'm doing now is I'm going through the whole boat and exercising the stopcocks because if anyone breaks, it's better to find out now, just, be, you know within a week of going back in the water and I could get it fixed. Yeah, it's one of those things that really has to, it's better to fix when the boat's out of the water. Oh yeah, especially if it's under the water line. Found the Christmas stuff. <laughs> so there's no need to have it on the boat really. Cause I'm you're, coming home for you're, Christmas. you're gonna be here. Yeah. So uh, yeah, just going through the whole boat and getting off everything that is no longer necessary for kind of like being, you know, a family living aboard. Okay. Oh. Yeah, right. Got it. Bye, Christmas tree. <laughs> We've had that for how many years? Uh, about seven. <laughs> we'll take it home and Sienna can reminisce about all our Christmas ornaments. Yeah. That's our entire Christmas package that we've accumulated for nine years, eight years. But, and then we're gonna be put back out here and then over, we'll stay here overnight and check everything out and then in the morning I'm going to go back to Hampton on the second I'm going to sail it back to uh, Hampton. Hampton, yep. And then we've got guests coming in. Yes, uh, I've got a videographer coming in on the 7th and then I've got the guys coming in 12th, 13th and 14th. After the 14th we're going to be sailing to Bermuda, Bermuda. fingers yes. crossed, weather permitting. Yes, uh, I've got that t-shirt. I've done that trip. I don't need to do that no, one again. No, no. I'm going to spend hopefully a week there, re reprovisioning the boat. If we break anything, fix it. And then from there, we're going to sail. I'm going to get another couple of new crew on there. And then we're going to sail down to St. Martin. Yay, one of our favourite places. Yep. It's, uh, yeah, exciting times, different times. Yep. Okay, I think that's it for our update. It's nice to actually give an update where we're doing something with the boat and... Yeah. You know, we're moving forward. Yeah. Not necessarily together, but where the boat's being Well, you wouldn't used. do that trip anyway if we were doing it together. No, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. All right, well, well, thanks for watching. Yeah. And uh, watch this space because we're going to have some sailing videos again. Yeah. yeah. Take care. Bye. Yeah. Make sure to check out sailingbritican.com to read my recent article, Is There Life After Being a Sailing Cruiser? The link to the article is below.